The current design of our beautiful island of Jamaica is a uniquely shaped and artistically bordered vision. Prior to the parishes being formed, there were literally only two named ranches. Those were owned by the Spaniards called Yalas and Marant. They were the largest ranches on the island and were therefore used as border markers. Take a walk with me on this journey as we discover how the boundaries resulted in the creation of the parishes we know today in our beloved Jamaica. This is how Jamaica was divided. At that time, other than the Yalas and the Marant ranches, the capital of Jamaica was Seville. With other ranches being developed over the years, there came a need for markers to differentiate the regions and the ranches of the now Spaniard-led Jamaican population. So, a division took place between 1572 and 1655. The ranches identified on the map from this division were Northside, Blue Fields, Withywood, Guanoaboa, Spanish Town, Ligani, Yalas, and Morant. The English captured the island from the Spanish in 1655 and decided the various ranches were not only too large for just one name and one boundary, but also the country needed a better administrative structure. This gave birth to the first seven named parishes. Clarendon, St. John, St. Andrew, St. Catherine, Port Royal, St. David and St. Thomas. As you may have noticed with the names, all these parishes were named after wealthy and distinguished people in the English regime. With the growth of the trade industry, more parishes were added later. These parishes were created quickly and even had two unnamed parishes until later years. By 1675, Jamaica boasted a total of 14 parishes. They are as follows in order from west to east. First, an unnamed parish. Then, St. James, St. Anne. St. Mary, St. George, St. Thomas, St. Elizabeth, another unnamed parish, Clarendon, St. John, St. Catherine, St. Andrew, Port Royal, and St. David. By 1692, other boundaries were created resulting in two additional parishes, with a total at this point of 16 parishes. They were St. Dorothy and Vere. Kingston was then added in 1703, making it a total of 17 parishes. In 1722, the new governor of Jamaica, the Duke of Portland, created the parish of Portland from St. George and St. Thomas. He also separated one unnamed parish into two parishes and called them Anover and Westmoreland. To further ensure there was a clear distinction of the various parish boundaries, they were grouped into three counties, Cornwall, Middlesex, and Surrey. In 1814, a new parish was added, making it a total of 21 parishes. The parishes remained in this order until 1842 when upon exiting office, Governor Sir Charles Metcalf was honored with a parish being named after him, namely Metcalf, which was brought about by the elimination of St. George and St. Mary. In 1867, eight parishes were eliminated and other parishes were merged together, resulting in what we have today, a total of 14 parishes. In Cornwall County, here are the parishes and their capitals. Anova, the capital of Anova is Lucy. The capital of St. Elizabeth is Black River. The capital of St. James is Montego Bay. The capital of Trelawney is Falmouth. The capital of Westmoreland is Savannah Lamar. In Middlesex County, the capital of Clarendon is Maypen. The capital of Manchester is Mandeville. The capital of St. Anne is St. Anne's Bay. The capital of St. Catherine is Spanish Town. And the capital of St. Mary is Port Maria. In Surrey County, the capital of Kingston is also Kingston. The capital of Portland is Port Antonio. The capital of St. Andrew, and this is... We not decide upon this yet, it's halfway tree. In the capital of Morant Bay, the capital of St. Thomas is Morant Bay. You might wonder why Jamaica was divided into parishes. 
Simply put, as regular people devised their own unique visions and plans for the future, so did the leaders and administrators. Based on their vision of growth and economics and productivity, they devised what they conceived as the best way forward for Jamaica. Did you find this video interesting or informative? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos like these, also let me know in the comment section down below. Until then, thank you for watching. Y'all have a blessed day. Don't forget to drop a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe.